the only show that'll carry you around like Hodor. I'm your host, Kevin Smith. Brian Johnson. Paul Flanagan. Mike Zapsick. Ming Chen. What's been going on in a fat man's comic book store this week? What would you say if I told you one of the greatest toy mysteries of all time was solved? Good afternoon, guys. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Good. I've got one of the rarest Star Wars action figures in existence. Really? Yes. You can accurately say holy grail for this item, hands down. You got to show it? Yes. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Let's see. Wow. Is that what I think it is? This is a rocket-firing Boba Fett action figure from Kenner Toys. No way. These are not supposed to exist. and not supposed to exist. Battlestar Galactica made a toy and it shot a missile and a child breathed it in and he died. So a Kenner attorney said, we can't have this because it's going to be a swallowing risk for kids. So that's why this got canceled. This one was just about to be released. How did you get this? This actually came from an engineer at Kenner Toys. He just kept it in his drawer for all these years. This is crazy. The crown jewel in the lost toys of history. So rare that it's, uh, until now, it was like urban legend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, up until that point in the 70s, you could endanger a child through toys <laughs> as much as you wanted. Nobody really ever thought twice about it. But I had, for my entire childhood, the Boba Fett that didn't shoot a rocket out, and I turned out just fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a little heavy. Maybe I would have been thinner if I had a rocket firing one, but that's about it. You would have had to walk over after you fired it, go get the missile. Yeah, yeah. Exercise. <laughs> exactly. I would have been a healthier kid. <laughs> Is he your favorite character? Yeah, I mean, just look. Look at his mask. His eyes are just looking right at you. Don't mess with Fett. Why do you think Boba Fett has lasted so long as the coolest, most badass character out of the Star Wars? It's the design of that costume is so badass. He was the coolest looking bounty hunter. The Wookiee scalps, right? The Wookiee scalps are cool. you hanging off his belt. You could get a badass wrap around your neighborhood. You could walk around with, like, squirrel scalps on your belt. <laughs> <laughs> That figure was a Boba Fett. Let's say it was um, a Lobot. Lando Calrissian's bald buddy with the headphones. Would it be as sought after? No. Lobot wore a blouse. <laughs> <laughs> right then and there, you're going to have a hard time. I can't imagine why that would be worth something. But Boba Fett still maintains an insane amount of popularity. You know, nobody's sitting there going, Bosk forever, or I'm an IG-88 booster. You know, it all comes down to Boba Fett. Hey, who's that tubby guy with the bandages around his head? Dengar. 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 That was my hero when I was a kid. The only fat man in the Star Wars universe is that Mama would be Dengar when I grow up. You already are. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see I have a letter of authenticity. It's graded to 85 out of 100. This is legitimate. All right. What do you need to get for it? Take a deep breath. $50,000. How much? $50,000. Is it really worth that much? I think that's a bargain. You cannot find this. 50 grand. It's a number that if I sold it for, I wouldn't have seller's remorse. I feel like I have a listener's remorse. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. Wow. <laughs> If I don't have anywhere to go with that, I mean, I would need to go to a higher up, a higher authority. You don't keep 50K in old Betsy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you can't run with the big dog, stay on the porch. I guess I'm on the porch. Under the porch, piddling yourself? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I can't do it. No problem, no problem. Thanks. You're very welcome. All right, guys, take care. Take Good care for that.